Hi, Flastive. It's Janet. Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 226. If you're new to my channel, I hope you like what you see where you're talking about cross stitch. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming by to check me out this week to see what's been going on because I have lots of fun goodness here. Um, and if you have watched me for a while and not subscribed, please consider hitting the thumbs up and um, or subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, do the things to communicate. But I would love for you to follow me so that you get notified when these updates come out. Um, I know I'm very predictable. It, uh, that's me in real life too, very predictable. But anyway, I would love for you to come and make sure you join the fun. Join, um, subscribe the subscribe to my channel, please. All right, with that, we're going to jump in. Um, it was a, I want to say relaxing weekend, a weekend of football and snuggles. It was super cold. We did a little bit of running, but um, I this morning when I was getting ready for this, I was like, whew, you look kind of rough, young lady. <laughs> Anywho, whatever. Let's talk about stitching. That's what we're here for. Uh, a little bit of business at the beginning. Um, I want to remind you, I have a happy mail link in the description box below. So please consider filling that out if you'd like to randomly receive happy mail. Basically, I send out little cards every single month um, just to say, hey, and who doesn't love receiving a happy mail? Yes, I do use it for reference if I'm doing a giveaway to um, find that, but it's not required. I still contact you. So with that, let's uh, get moving on to other stuff. I have tons of friends information in the comments below, like people that have online businesses, um, in-person businesses, bags, floss, you name it, there's somebody there probably that can help you out. So, um, all right, let's do this. So one of the things I do on my channel every single month is, every single week, excuse me, is a feature friend. Um, and that was Ollie making sure that his presence was known. He bumped the tripod. Uh, he's like, Oh my gosh, I am so sorry for this. All right, let's do this. Featured friend. Okay, my featured friend for this week is Dawn, who also has, pop in that picture here, um, her own YouTube channel called Enchanted Stitching. So give her a look, but check out this beauty she sent to me. Here's her picture. Dawn's picture is of the uh, Midsummer's Night Fairy by um, Mirabilia. It's a beautiful finish. Um, thank you so much for sharing that, Dawn. Uh, I... I love all things Mirabilia. I swear I get more into it. Um, I saw her mushrooms that got released last week. Woo! Um, I gotta get those. All right. So anyway, thank you very much for sharing that, Dawn. Um, and again, if you would like to be considered on a um, as a featured friend, please do not hesitate to send me a message at janetjabber at gmail.com and I'll get you entered in the queue. Um, right now, they're kind of like a little bit of mishmash uh, because of... Uh, out of season, I guess I should say, but um, do not hesitate. We love to see stitching no matter what time. Some people stitch everything all year long. Um, so yeah, please do that. I, uh, that's, that's those kind of announcements. Okay. That cat knocking the tripod messes with me. All right, let's get into my stitching. What do I have stitched for this week? First of all, this one is a finish for now because I have one more part. This is the piece called Castle Homecoming by the Frosted Pumpkins. Stitchery, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchers, Stitchery. Mm. Um, I stitched this along with uh, my friend Chrissy on here. So this is where we're at. It's finished for now. I am so loving it. Uh, super excited for that last piece to drop and then it'll be a finish next month. So the last piece drops on February 1st. I've enjoyed watching this one come along and alive. So that's pretty cool. That is my only finish for this week and it's only like a finish for now. But my next piece that I want to show you is my Mirabilia that I stitch on every single day. Um, so far, I looked last night. I haven't missed a day this year yet. So uh, this is Mirabilia by, um, or this is the piece, Queen of Peace by Mirabilia on loan to me. And this is where she's at. I am so excited to share this. So she stitched on a 28 count of fabric by Be Stitch Me called Bronze Ages. Taking my sweet time getting her to you, aren't I? Yes, yeah, so um, her skin, uh, the crinic and beads and all that stuff's not done. So her skin and her to here, and I'm starting on the bodice of her dress, and this is like an arm, is so beautiful and so lovely. This color is 928, and for whatever reason, it is just a very calming effect. Um, like to the point, I bought bed sheets in that color. <laughs> Awesome. It feels so calming and like spa like. I need that in my life. So that is where um, that is on there. 
Another thing that I do is I have a focus for the month and uh, I've, I've gone through, heading into this year, I've looked through my whip pile and picked out 12 pieces to consider for a focus for that month. Some of them will get a finish and some of them will not. Um, it doesn't matter, I just stitch and stitch. <laughs> so uh, this is Forbidden Fiber Co, The Mandalorian. I've told this story before, um, hopefully when this is finished. Uh, I know Colton wants it super bad, but uh, I, I have a feeling this may be the theme for my grandson's first birthday, so it'll get put out there. And I need to, I left a park needle, so I need to get that out of the way so you can see the lovely. Oh, for the love of Pete. Park needle. I know you're watching me in my head. You'll see because I'm just pulling it off the top. Hopefully it's not completely annoying. So when I came to you last, did I do all of this this week? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did all of this this week. So it was a good week on this. Um, I usually pull a thread a day or sometimes I pull like a strand and I do all the threads in that strand. It depends on what how I'm jiving. I love this fabric. This is Forbidden Fiber Co's fabric also. Um, it's their 32 count linen and I think it's 32. Regardless, it's absolutely gorgeous. So um, lovely to stitch on. Her dyeing process is beautiful. I I need, I need, I want to get more of hers. I wish it was still totally local around here to where I could um, look at it and grab it and all the things, but nonetheless, nonetheless. All right, the next thing I stitched on is my uh, new start for the beginning of the new year. And this is Enjoy the Stitch by Hands On Design. Uh, my friends told me they've not even seen this. So from what I'm gathering, this was a retreat piece for, I don't want to misquote. So this was a retreat piece somewhere. Um, I feel like I got this from Kathy's website. I'm not really sure. I, go look. It's called Enjoy the Stitch chart. $2.99. So I know it's one of her new ones because she just mentioned in a recent video that she's only a, like she's at only she's at chart, uh, 302. So it's relatively new, but, uh, the box that this sitting on is from Chantel from 141 design company. I ordered that so that it's on the way because that is, this has just been so fun to stitch and these colors just totally pop on this. So, um, I'm just working away, not any consistency, but, uh, this week, I feel like I finished getting these X's done. I feel like I had this one done and I finished these. I'm not sure. So we'll see where I plug away. It could be a finish next week. It could also not. We'll see. The next one is a um, piece that I'm going to pop a picture up here. This is my Afghan, my uh, mother's. I call it my butterfly, my Afghan, but it's the one that my mother got me. So uh, I've been dabbling on it. <laughs> And this weekend with all the football and all the cozies, it called to me to work on. So you saw the before picture. This is also a Wibgo call. I don't usually do before pictures, but I really wanted to show. <sighs> Boom. This is absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm going to try to get this piece done by next week. Um, we'll see. Because the, the backstitching is quite a lot in here. So I still have plenty to fill in, as you can see. Not plenty, but you see the holes. You see the holes. So we'll see if this gets to be a done for next week and then we'll see. But for as far as whip go, go goals go, it's done because I did my 500 stitches and that was super fun to just cuddle under and watch some football and do the things. So that was cool. My next piece is a um, my themed pieces. So mini Monday, I am doing for mini Monday. I'm going to try to do these series because I have a bunch of them and I just want to be doing them. So this is the Little House Needleworks. Um, lovable petite. I started with this one on purpose because Valentine is right around the corner. I went to my store. I found the perfect color. So, um, I consider this one project because all of these inside here are on one chart. Yes, they're going to be stitched on two different pieces of fabric, but it's still all one. It's one chart. That's how I count it. Anyway, so it'll be completed when all four of them are done. But for right now, I have one done. The one done. Yay! And I picked up this fabric at my LNS. Oh, I was so thankful to pop in there and be able to grab it. It's like tropical something. Anyway, it was just the perfect pinkish, grapefruity pink color. Love it. So I will be working on those are going to be my mini Mondays. Hopefully that is those mini Mondays are done um, for Valentine's. Not that that'll be fully finished. And then I'm going to see 
what I want to do for the backings on those because I didn't, oh, what's it recommend? I do want to ask if anyone knows. Um, it recommends using the finishing boards from Starry Night Studios. I probably just need to shoot her message. So it, re it calls for 30 count and I use 28 count. That's the deal. So I want them, fin I still want them finished just like this. Um, and I feel like it would work, but I need to reach out and see, uh, if that would, if those are available like that. I need to, don't put it away. Remember to, remember to ask Janet. All right. So what Wednesday is what my Wednesday is. And for what Wednesday I, oh, Ollie really wants to be seen. Ollie, stop it. Um, what Wednesday I chose to work on year three of Frogworts from the Black Needle Society. I am going to have in July, <laughs> this cat and I are going to tangle. Um, in July, we're going to have uh, year five coming out and I still have year three and four that are not stitched. So that is coming at you right now to show you what I did. Ollie, stop it. My animals are so loving. All right, so this is a piece of fabric that I dyed. It does not look this bold in person. Um, but what I did this time was put some stitches across the bottom here. And then I thought, oh, I had part of her done. So I was just like, let me bust her out. I'm going to tell you what I did wrong. Because um, these greens, there's two different greens. It's the only place it's used in the entire chart is the ruffle of her dress. And I pulled it backwards. But I left it. Wasn't tearing it out. It's good enough. So lovely, happy to have that for my what Wednesday. We'll see if I keep continue with that until it's done. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we'll see. My next one is for the Grand Friday. For the Grand Friday is going to be this happiness see you later chart. You guys have seen me stitch this. I'm just kind of working my way down and I'm super excited. Um, I would have liked to have a little more done on this, but Friday was different. <laughs> Friday was a different day. So this is where I'm at on it. This is stitched on, see the sparkle? Yeah, this is on a, a sparkly one. So uh, give a hug, ladybug. I had, I really just got this part done. It was not a productive Friday for me. Well, it was productive enough. I'm just gonna say it here. Look at these pictures. Uh, these are some cute little cookies I had made for my son-in-law. Friday was not very productive because it was his vasectomy day. And my daughter really wanted these cookies. So uh, I contacted my very good friend and we made it happen. Everything's well. Everything's fine. It's a choice they made. Yeah. So other than that, that is all the stitching I have. But remember I told you that I had a whip go board of like other things that like have accumulated that I want to get done and I'm pushing myself to. So I have one of those two done and it is Look at this little guy. I am so excited about this. So this is a, oh, I didn't bring it over with me. This is a loom knit. So if you want, know what loom looms are for a loom knitting, it's a round circle with like pegs all around is the one I have. And um, this is a kitchen scrubby. See all those little hairy little guys? So, and I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you how well it works yet, but um, I've owned those looms for probably three years at least. And I've played with them to practice doing it, but I just had no motivation to do it because I was just practicing. And then I found this cute little video for these scrunchies and it was like, I feel like I may have worked on it 40 minutes. I don't know. It was super, a super great video and I have a product at the end and now I feel way better about those looms that I purchased. Um, I can see that just being like a side hobby of, I don't know, sometime when I just am not doing stitching which I do a lot of stitching so let's be real okay the next thing I have is I have a purple package from the tiny the tiny hummingbird stitchery which is Sammy J she uh I am in a club with her of the fabulous house series so uh I told her instead of paying shipping all the time monthly or whatever I was like just hold them it's not like I'm stitching these I'm kind of just collecting them right now so I will stitch them because I'm in love with these so this is one and two sorry for the glare I saw the sneak peek for three and I'm like oh yes I'm gonna say that for every single one of these and um the first one came with um specialty floss so I actually am on the club for the specialty flosses that come with it and or that is needed for it and the chart with Sammy um the ones for this chart are back ordered but 
nonetheless, she'll get them. I stick them together and add them to my list. Uh, so what else do I have? The last thing I have is my, if you haven't received it yet, my, the just cross stitchers magazine came in. I did a flip through, but I will take it to work with me and really dig into it more, but there's definitely some cute little pieces in here that I can see myself stitching. Uh, I, again, I appear to be a collector of these things also, but what else? <laughs> whatever. Uh, I used to say that used to drive my, me nuts when my daughter said that to me. <laughs> so that is it. Um, I got a couple more announcements. I'm looking at notes so I don't forget anything. So what are my plans for this week and an announcement? Um, I mentioned on here a while ago uh, that I wanted to see what it took in order to do like a sit and stitch day. And I have definitely, we are moving in that direction for sure in the fall though. So none of the dates were available for me in the spring for the venue and, but November the 2nd is. So now I just have to figure out all the logistics of how to go about this. Um, Please be patient and please be kind as I figure this out. I, I'm sure that like I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to a friend that has done this and I like probably a Google form, to be honest with you, and then like where you would pay through PayPal or mail me a check or something. Um I'm not this is not a business for me, so I, it's just something that I want to do. Uh and my venue currently would probably only hold like 50, so it's gonna be baby steps for me, and we'll see. Uh We'll just see. I'm, I want to do this. I want to bring stitchers together. I want to have a chill day where we do this, where uh, the cost of it, I have to reach out to the food person. So, cause the time frame I'm looking at is like 10 to five. So I would include, uh, with your registration and your purchase would include a box lunch with a, a couple of different options for you to choose from. I'm still working on logistics out and I'm puking it out to you when I don't even have a right in my head yet. But if you, uh, just keep that on radar, uh, of, if you're locally and driving here, here meaning Fort Wayne, Indiana area is um, not too far of a drive for a day to sit and stitch um, and hang out with other people of like minds, keep it on your radar for November 2nd. Um, other than that, what do I plan to do this week? Um, if you remember last week, I told you that I was going to get caught up on all my sows. Did you see? I only got caught up on one. So uh, I have two more that I need to get caught up on and I have a week and a couple days, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, I have one that is very, very pressing that I definitely have to be caught up on and the other one, um, I'm the only one stitching it, so I would like to stay caught up on it and it's new one drops February 1st, so we'll see. February 1st is the deadline for all of these. We'll see where I get to ne by next week when I come at you. So, uh, and then of course my mini Monday, what Wednesday and for the Grands Friday, daily stitch. So I have plenty of stitching usually to show. I like variety. Um, and that's just how I do. I love to watch other people that only stitch on one thing because they have massive progress. Um, it's just like, I don't know, variety, different things to each their own. Just get out here and express yourself and enjoy life. That's really the, all that for me that matters. This is what makes me happy right now. That could change. I used to be a monogamous stitcher. Who knows? I could go back to that. Probably not. All right. Uh, all right. All right. Let's get into the personal life stuff. So I have a couple of super cute pictures um, for this week. I, of course, I told you snuggles. So I have a cute little Henry snuggle. I mean, all he does is snuggle right now and sleep and do the things like that. So that's the pictures that you get from him. And, but little Ozzy, I'm telling you, um, it is Girl Scout cookie time. And we, my husband and I went to the grocery store and they were out there in the freezing cold selling cookies. So, you know, I used to be a Girl Scout leader for my daughter. I knew that we were getting them on the way out. So we stopped and got them. Um, I'm telling you, those leaders made those girls do math. <laughs> but uh, my favorite cookie is the peanut butter patties. My husband's favorite cookies are Thin Mints. And there's a cute story about that, but let me finish this one. <laughs> uh, so he bought his Thin Mints and then later, that was like Saturday, Sunday night, all of a sudden, he's whipping out the Thin Mint cookies and Ozzy gets them. And I was like, mm, not sure she's going to like that. Picture proof, she liked that. So uh, super cute. And uh, she's just such a joy of the little annex and the stuff like that. It's so fun. So I'm going to jump back and tell you the cute little story about the Girl Scout cookie Thin Mints. So when, and then we're going to get off of here, but this is a personal thing. So when I met my husband, our very first date, I was a Girl Scout leader then. And, um, 
just from conversation before we go on our first date, he mentioned that his favorite cookie was Thin Mint Cookies. Girls got Thin Mint Cookies. So um, I brought him to our first date to give to him. And uh, it's like, I'll never forget his favorite cookie because of that. It's, I don't know. To me, it was sweet and cute. And uh, I'm goofy, I know. <laughs> I just had to share that to you. First day, then my cookies, whatever. Uh, all right. So, and now I feel like, oh, you're so silly, Janet. Um, I was older when I started dating my husband. So he is, uh, I think I've mentioned that on here before. He adopted Elizabeth when she was 12 years old. We got married when Elizabeth was 11. He adopted her six months later. Um, she took on his name and we were a whole family. <laughs> uh all right, I gotta get off here. This rambling, I like, I'm like spilling all the beans. <laughs> keep, keep yourself warm, keep yourself in good spirits. Uh, this time of the year can be rough. My husband is one of those people that goes through the, like the season affects him in regards to his mood and stuff. So we constantly are vigilant and trying to keep him, um, I don't wanna say chippery, but like just check, we just check his moods so that we can keep him um, at at least a state. So anyway, if you need anything, reach out. Please do not hesitate to reach out and say, hey, uh, but you heard Gabby tip tap in here. So she's ready for me to wrap this up. So I'm going to get out of here. So please keep stitching, enjoy life. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye.